I'm George and in this video I'm going to show you a widely used and efficient technique to packaging and shipping corals. One of the greatest ways to help your reef aquarium grow without spending a lot of money is to trade coral fragments or cuttings with other reef keepers. It also helps to make a small fortune off of selling corals so that you can afford some of those annoying expenses that come with this hobby. I will also propose some important guidelines to follow when shipping your frags to their future homes. So yeah, right now you're looking at a urine cup. I'm not going to pee in it, believe it or not, we are going to put coral in here to ship it in. They cost a little more than bags, but they ensure that there will be no leaks, which is the most common problem with bags. Find some slab of styrofoam and cut it into some small circles or squares so that they can fit into the urine cup face down. If your coral frag is a plug with a placeholder, then you need to make a small hole in the piece of styrofoam so that you can insert it like this. If it is simply flat, then you can rubber band it on both sides to the styrofoam. Fill the urine cup with enough tank water so that it doesn't overflow when you put the styrofoam face down in it with the coral. Now, as you can see, the styrofoam floats, thus encasing the coral in a way that no matter which side you flip the urine cup on, it will float on the surface with the coral dangling upside down, which will protect it from being smothered or crushed. Mushrooms, unattached star polyps, and other corals like that can be shipped loosely in the cup. But keep coral types isolated to their own cups so that they do not sting each other. The most important part in shipping is having the correct packaging. Boxes made for shipping livestock are typically a thick styrofoam container with a double wall cardboard box that fits snugly around it. The best place to get one of these is from your local fish store. Many stores will hang on to a few of these that they get from their livestock shipments and will typically give them away for free. Mail order livestock will also arrive in these boxes, so be sure to hang on to those when you get them. You can fit a lot more of the urine cups in a box like this than you can bags. Plan ahead for weather during shipping too. Check local forecasts in your area and the destination area. If the temperature is going to be cold, tape a heat pack to the inside of the styrofoam container's lid. You can purchase these from camping supply stores or hardware stores sold as a hand or boot warmer. Be sure to not overdo it though. Too much heat can destroy your coral frags before they ever leave your local shipping center. Always ship your corals overnight. If you give a dead on arrival guarantee, then don't risk the money just because you wanted to pay less for shipping or were afraid to ask the buyer for more shipping money. Many people have been experimenting with different corals and their tolerances to shipping times, but do so at your own risk. When the corals arrive, contact the buyer and confirm everything is okay. I hope you learned some useful information. Most people are afraid to start shipping coral because they've simply never done it. Go on eBay and purchase a few materials and give it a try yourself with some easy corals. Being able to ship coral will broaden your selling and buying horizons in this hobby. You made it all the way to the end of this video. You might as well click that subscribe button and support my channel. Also, if you have any questions at all, let me know in the comment section below. I always respond and help people out. Remember to keep those nitrates low, guys. George, out.